Hey guys, me Kimberly. Today we're doing Manav's place and she lives in Milton. This client signed up for the free design program. So let's talk about the befores. It was a blank slate, which is personally my favorite. So this was a new build. So we actually got in there just prior to all the finishing happening. A Little bit tricky sometimes, but we worked with the client together. And this is what we came up with. This room was traditionally built and designed for a living room, dining room. The client did not want that. The kitchen was so close, they already had dining there. What they wanted was two living spaces right next to each other so that when they entertain, their guests could sort of separate and create their own little conversation areas. So this is what we decided to do. So today we're gonna pull a fabrics or accessory program. It's a chair space uh, for both living areas. We're gonna start with the rug. They decided to indigo, uh, which is a gray, dark, almost black pattern rug. They decided to do for the living area a caress fabric. It's like a velour. It has that light gray, as you can see. It will brighten up a lot the surface of the rock. And then on the other side, you can see that they wanted to mimic the same type of color, same type of finish. It's also soft, but in a different fabric. This one has more texture to it. This one will be placed in the in the section now that they have in the family room. As per accents, they decided to do a chrome. Like I say, a little bit of glam into the room, and that's it. One area we did with sofas that were a little bit more formal. The sofas on the left are called the Deer. I designed them. We manufactured them in our own factory. They are deep, deep tufted. Then we use the same tone of fabric on the sectional, which is going to be facing the TV, the fireplace. That's where most of the relaxing will be done. But because everything is so open, both spaces had to coordinate together. So by having the same rug in both spaces, this is our starting point by incorporating the same fabric and same tones of fabric. This is another way to do it. And then the rest, we leave it all up to the coffee tables, which were stainless steel finished in both sides, right and left. This project is not finished by far. They still need a couple of end tables. They need window treatments. They need ottomans to divide that space. But this is how far we got. I want to show you guys when we're like about 90% done, sometimes people stop just there. These clients, we populated the whole space and then they agreed that they did want to continue and finish it off. So we'll have part two of this video down the road. Let's start with the accessories. Before we go to accessory program, the team and I decide on what we're gonna pull. And we always give the clients a questionnaire prior to see what they like and don't like, and we go from there. In this case, the client said they absolutely did not want black. They must have said it 12 times, and the team kept reminding me they don't want black, they don't want black. So I gave them black. Why? The carpet has black in it, guys. You could not ignore this feature. If we would have kept everything so dull and tone on tone, it just would have looked terrible. The floor was very dark. There was nothing to give it strength. So I decided to do two pieces of original art on either side of the TV with black frames. Most of the pillows are neutral in that space and just a pillow or two that are black just to keep that black theme going just a tiny little bit. And then we have two wall art accessory pieces that are like circles on top of each other, one facing right, one facing left, on either side of the formal side of the room, just so that a little bit of black is incorporated in there too. The accessories on both coffee tables we kept very neutral. We just tied in really neutral flowers and candle holders. It looked absolutely beautiful and serene. And just a little bit of black on the frames, the object art, and in the pillows was all that it needed to tie in that black into the rug. Can't wait to see what we finish off this space with. I would probably add some black panels. Let's see how they are feeling. The chandelier we selected was this beautiful shiny crystal with a steel frame. The other side of the family room did not have one, so we're gonna put one there too and finish it off. And along with the curtains and extra ottomans to divide those two spaces and a couple of end tables and some lamps on either side of the formal seating area, this place will look 100% styled, be more functional, and look even that much more beautiful. 
Let me tell you what I really think about finishing off your space. Guys, if you're gonna go through all this trouble to design a space, start and finish it. This is why our 3D renderings, all of our models that are in this showroom are in those 3D renderings. You cannot visualize this at home with green tape on your floor. You can't see your sight lines. You can't see in 3D. All you can see is tape on a floor, which you can see here in your 3D rendering or in your blueprint version of the 3D rendering. 3D is everything and I'll tell you why. You can view that space at different levels, sitting on the ground, sitting on a chair, standing up and even standing on a ladder. So there's nothing to prevent you from feeling that space. Now, if there's something like ottomans or window treatments, if you think that room's gonna be finished and you've seen it in 3D and you love the way it looks, just get the whole thing at the same time. I understand that budgets are sometimes an issue, but it really will help you to finish off. That's why we tell you one room at a time, start and finish a space, make it perfect, and then go forward. You don't want all these things all over your house and nothing looks complete. Do yourself a favor, please finish one space at a time. You'll be happy you did. Our design program works like this, guys. We send a qualified designer out to your home to measure one room at a time. We do all the elevations and the floor plan so that we have perfect, accurate measurements. A week later, you come back to the showroom. We walk the showroom. We test all the furniture. We see what you love and then and see what your aesthetics are and that's why we give you the what do you love questionnaire it's a design personality test that just sort of takes you through a whole bunch of furniture and room layouts maybe you love everything on that page maybe you like nothing but this is a good way for us to understand who you are and for you to understand what you really love like want to be surrounded with it's not the be all and the end all. Clearly when you get back to the showroom, you may change your mind. You may see something on Instagram that's gonna motivate you and inspire you. And that's cool, but this complete personality test usually does the trick for me. In 98%, I know who you are. And that's what I want. I wanna make you happy. I'm Kimberly Capone and I truly believe you should live in rooms you love. Visit our showroom and sign up for your free design consultation and together we'll create the perfect space.